TYT Sports, Francis Maxwell here, bringing you some live coverage from outside one of the bars in LA where World Cup fever has well and truly caught on uh, in the game between the United States and Ghana. So the game got off to an unbelievable start as Clint Dempsey scored the fifth fastest goal in World Cup history, sending this bar crazy and everyone around the world talking about the United States. And then things got a little hectic in the second half. As the United States packed himself in, Jürgen Klinsmann decided to take a more defensive approach and it looked like it might have cost him as Ayu came in and scored, I think that's how you pronounce it, Ayu scored for Ghana and it was on the 82nd minute and things looked like it might have turned round to the way it was before. The previous games in the World Cup has seen teams come from behind and win but Ghana was shut down only four minutes later as debutant, World Cup debutant Brooks bashed in that header and again this bar went crazy and proved that the World Cup fever has well and truly picked up within this bar. So Brooks will get our Turk of the match and I'm sorry but in this game there definitely was no jerk so we're going to give the Turk to Brooks and to the Ghana fan who took, went all out and painted his face white along with everyone else to get in the spirit of the World Cup so fair play to both of them. TYT Sports getting some more outside view here from some United States fans. Lads, how do you, yeah, ha all the way. So what did you think about that dream start from Clint Dempsey scoring that goal in the first 30 seconds? <laughs> I was I was even watching the game. I didn't know what was happening. I was still getting my drink. By the time I drink game, the USA scored. I wasn't ready for it. Oh, that's good. Were you celebrating though? We were, yeah. We were cheering, we were cheering, we were, we were celebrating. It was a good mood. So we've got this gentleman here who's been kindly so nice to, uh, to answer a few questions. So sir, do you think the US has caught on to World Cup fever? Of course, it keeps getting better and better every four years. They're into it. I heard that there's 100,000 Americans in Brazil. I can't wait to be down there in nine days. And uh, three points is huge. Bring on Portugal.